but uh, we're back again. And the subject is that if we take a critical look at the sector and then the concerns that have been raised by the IPPs to the point that now they have to shut down, knowing that power is critical. And just like Moni said, if you make that decision, it becomes a political issue, even though you're, you're not a political entity. So ideally, what should have been the perhaps the position of the, uh, the IPPs? Should, should they have gone the other way, maybe go for some LTs and be borrowing money and be, par and be powering the plant? So you, let me wish your viewers, your lovely viewers, a good morning. Wish my brother Manuri be uh, 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 always a pleasure to meet him. And you guys have been meeting. He's my friend, uh, and uh, money here. Uh, a uh, good morning. He's also your friend. Uh, money is here. Money. I, I, I know him. I, I used to be in his party. <laughs> <laughs> and then, you are coming home. Uh, my big brother, <laughs> my big brother, uh, Kofi Jantua. Kwame. Uh, Kwame Jantua. Sorry. Kwame. Uh, Kwame uh, in fact, Roland. Yes, sir. I am scandalized to be sitting here speaking about energy in 2024, energy issues in 2024. Uh, I think George Money did a good job in, as in giving us a historical antecedent to uh, the issues. Factually, a lot of the things he said were right, uh, except that because of his position, he's, where he's struggling to give a, a perspective that will criticize government. <laughs> you see, beyond the, you know, he, he mentioned the cash water for, for now, mechanism. Also. That mechanism came out after government spent money to do what we call the energy sector recovery program. Esla. Not ESLA. So there's ESLA and there's also energy sector yeah. recovery yeah. program. Yeah, you understand. So, uh, uh, yeah, you understand. Now, ESLA is Energy Sector Levy Act, which levied some monies on four consumptions all with the aim of dealing with the legacy debt. Now, when Danado became president, he, he fought it wise to uh, leverage on that, to raise bonds, as an all with the aim and purpose of paying off those le legacy debts. Mm. Then beyond that, they spent our money, rightly so, to undertake <laughs> a program, an energy sector recovery program, whose focus was to find a permanent solution to our energy sector programs. Mm. And indeed, they projected that with the, having identified the problems and having preferred solutions by 2023, by 2023, the energy sector will become viable. What that simply meant was that the cost of producing energy mm. eh, won't mm -hmm. be more than the cost, of, won't, won't be more than the revenue they generate from the sale of those energies. Is that right? Am I right? Yeah, of course. Yeah, that was that was what Eddie Eddie, Eddie told us. So why are, are we here? At the beginning of the of that energy sector recovery program, our debt, the energy sector debt, stood at uh, around two point <coughs> seven billion USD. Mm. Today, the debt in the energy sector is standing at one point about one point almost billion. almost two billion USD. In fact, the World Bank projects that by twenty twenty five, the debt will go up by tw uh, by up to eight billion dollars so would i be wrong if i say that like it is the case in the galamsey issue like it is the case in 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 how the economy has managed you're saying how you manage the economy has a direct impact on like it is the case in the galamsey battle like it is in the case in how the economy has been managed we are where we are because of a fundamental lack of commitment by people we've given our powers to to give leadership. That's all. Yeah, 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 because it's not like you see when you are faced with a problem, as in it could be that you don't know. Yeah, 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 yeah. You understand? This is not a, an issue of we don't know. You spend the state's money to go into why we consistently have issues in our energy sector you've recognized that the biggest issue we have in energy sector is one of financial inviability you've preferred solutions you, 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 you understand. so so let me give you an example mm. so when ecg sells energy because you should recall that majority of us private people they take our money before we even use the energy 
it is prepaid. Yeah. It's not like it's, it's not it's majority of us. Now, in spite of that, they are telling us that every year ECG makes a loss of 180 million USD because of their inability to collect. Now, out of that 180 million dollar shortfall, eh, 150 million of those arise from their inability to collect from the ministries, the departments, and the agencies. 150 million, 150 million, <clears throat> constituting about 80 percent of the entire loss. So is it the case that the government wants to borrow us abroad? Because, they, because beyond everything else, they take our taxes too. So why not? Why why is government refusing to pay for the man uh, for the electricity they use? Two, they also recognize that part of the problem arises from technical and uh, technical yeah, losses. Loss. You understand? Yeah, system, now, losses. system losses. Now that constitutes about twenty three percent of the entire loss. You, 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 and, and you see, you've recognized this. We are in 2024. What have they done about it? What, what, what have they done about it? And maybe he's here so he can, he can explain. Yes, I can, uh, I can, can, you, I can so, no, so when you get to government, you see, there's knowledge. I, yeah, I yeah, think yeah, beyond yeah, just yeah, communicating yeah, for yeah, parties, yeah, yeah, so yeah, we yeah, have yeah, personal yeah, knowledge. Yeah, on. yeah, 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 yeah son. So at the end of the day, in spite of the energy sector recovery program, in spite of all the beautiful solutions in those programs, in spite of a projection that if they we we apply mm. the solutions mm. in, in 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 that program by 2023, would the energy sector would have come to a financial viability. So it means that we shouldn't be having this conversation in the first place. So why are we having this conversation? Why, why, why have you, and, and, and the person who fundamentally was placed in charge to supervise and undertake this program mm. wants to be a vice president. You mean Dr. Mahmoud Bawian? No. As the person placed in charge to undertake, to supervise the energy sector recovery program, vice president, Shah Kandit Napu. As wants, minister of energy. Yeah, wants to be vice president of Ghana. And I'm saying that the reason we are where we are is a fundamental lack or deficiency in leadership. It's not because we are incompetent. It's not because we don't know the problem. We've not recognized the problem. It's not because we've not recognized the solution. Because my brother here committed talks about the foreign exchange issue mm -hmm. as one of the reasons. Now who caused them? You now who caused them? Why the city 17? Yeah, now who caused them? Now, now who caused them? Because, you see, we have placed the management of the economy into your hands. The president, in 2015, espoused the principle of the hatterization of the city. The, the principle of the hatterization. Ah, have you forgotten? And see, deny hatter, hatter. See, deny hatter, hatter, hatter. Okay, okay. I, I get your point. Mm. See, deny hatter, hatter, What are those invectives for? Yeah, in, in fact, they are, they are not invectives. I'm just quoting what the president said. Because my brother here says that one of the fundamental problems why there's debt is because of the forex issue. So then we need to interrogate why there's the why, forex issue in the first place. Why are we at one to, to 17? 17? Because that was one of the problems that is causing the problems in the energy sector. Now who cause them? Now who cause them? When you spend about 5 billion on NAPCO and spend 400 million Ghana cities on 1D1F, because we understand that one of the fundamental strategies in dealing with the forex issue is a strategy that will what? Expand exports. So who costs them? Because you control our fiscal policy. You control where government puts its money. You put 400 million Ghana cities in one of your transformational programs and 5 billion in NAPCO. So who costs them? To create jobs. Or... And also to also expand exports. Who costs them? Because it's you, the government, you, the president, and your vice. You determine where you put our state resources. Yeah, you understand? It's not about just drafting the policy. Where do you put your money? Yeah, you understand? So, so it be they cause some. They cause this problem. <laughs> their, their, their lack of commitment in delivering leadership that impacts the lives of every single Ghanaian is the reason for why we are where we are. And, and, and so when, in fact, of this Koshoko leadership. Koshoko leadership. Ah, 
You haven't heard the vice president, who is also the presidential candidate of the ruling party, say on campaign platforms, especially his recent ones in the Ashanti region, that the economy is rebouncing, has been managed well. He said that if the fundamentals are weak, the exchange rate will do what? Where's how much? Ah, the president said when one dollar was to two cities, that one dollar, two cities, he would have expected, he would have expected the then president Mahama to have resigned. He said that. But the juice, the, the, the sweetness of power, the envelope under the table, that's why Mahama isn't resigning. At that time, it was one dollar to two cities. And that is one dollar to 17 cities. Why hasn't he resigned? That was his premise. His premise is that because one dollar was two cities, Nama didn't resign. And the reason why he didn't resign is because of the fat envelope under the table. I'm not the one saying this. It's the president who said that. Today is one dollar to 17 cities. One dollar to 17 cities. One dollar to 17 cities. Let this register. It's one dollar to 17 cities. Why hasn't he resigned? And my brother here is telling me that one of the fundamental reasons why we have the energy problems is because of issues to do with first. As if issues to do with first is uh, what is called act of God. Yeah, as if issues to do with first is act of God. You, you, you understand? So you see, when we are where we are, because of a fundamental deficiency, a cultural leadership, mm, and these same people having failed to resign, like the president said. <laughs> Show gross disrespect to the people of Ghana, to the intelligence of the people of Ghana, and say that we should make them, we should give them the opportunity to lead in spite of their radical and fundamental deficiency in leadership. Then for me, they, it's, it's a slap in the face. And so you see, we, have, we are two weeks away. In two weeks, that, that's a fateful Saturday, which will represent another Independence Day. Let us go and vote for Ghana. Let us go and vote for Ghana. We are talking about doing so. Uh, yes, I'm saying that the doing so problem is a leadership yeah, problem. Bringing voting. Yes, because it's a leadership problem. Are you, are, are you not following that? What I'm saying? That is a listen, listen. I know my time is passed. Just one minute. To wrap this up, I said having taken time to undertake this economic uh, 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 energy sector recovery program, having beautifully identified the issues and preferred solutions. Solutions that I do not disagree with. You understand? And a projection that if they follow the solutions, to the, the, they themselves have preferred to a letter. By 2023, mm. we would reach financial viability. And having failed radically, deliberately failed radically, mm, against the forex issue my brother here brought, an issue they created. The Nanado and Baumia government created. Although they came to four cities, now it's 17 cities. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's something fundamentally wrong. Mm. For you then to have the temerity to tell me that I should hand over power back to you is a slap in my face. I'm saying that come 7 December, the people of Ghana should go and vote for Ghana. And that vote for Ghana will be a vote for Honorable Alan John Kojo Chemantin. Let us save our country look, from the hands look, of, 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 of me jump to up. Look, how do we resolve this? Let, let's use three minutes to tackle this. Uh, the immediate one, because um, clearly... We, we need to do something about the production to meet the demand, so to speak. So, so clearly, the problem is not with the production. I think that issue was, it was solved. The reason why we're having issues with the pr production is because of our inability to pay yeah. the, the, uh, the producers. I think the issue really has to do with the collection. I think one of the major issues yeah, has the, to do with the, with, the, with, the, with the collection. You understand? Now, my view is that you see, the same approach used in solving the productivity issue should also be used in solving the collections issue. Mm. And that's the introduction of the private sector. Mm. Yeah, 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 you understand? The, yeah. the intro introduction of private sector. I'm damn sure if a private man uh, sells energy to the ministries, mm. the ministries won't be saying that they won't pay. Because they are, they are the problem. Every year, MDAs eh, don't pay up to 150 million. Now, in our great transformational plan, we are saying that when we come... The GDP? In, yes. We are going to, uh, what's called, fall on... We are going to create the right development for private sector to introduce private sector into the distribution and then, and obviously, the, 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 the collection of, 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 of revenue as in from, from the sale of, of energy. 
Also, like I already said, the energy sector recovery pro program, as it stands, as, in, as I read it with my layman's understanding, has practically no issue. I think it's a fantastic document. And that's why I, when I, I, I gave my last submission, as I agreed with the, the solutions in the energy sector recovery program, that my disappointment was in clearly their lack of commitment to mm. follow through the program they themselves have put in place. You understand? So, listen, we have the solution. I think the solution is in the energy sector recovery program. Let us show clear commitment mm. to those programs. Let us follow through those programs. Yes, and, and let's solve the problem. We shouldn't be saying that because uh, we don't we do not have doom so and, and that's a fact. We do not have doom so like we had in, 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 when your mama was you know, was was that's and that's a fact. I can't I'm, 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 no 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 let me let me no let me land let me land let me land let me land let me land, let me land. Let me land. However, the symptoms see the symptoms show that if we do not handle these issues, we can find ourselves in a worse situation than we were in 2015. You understand? Because we have debts which are almost at 2 billion. So the same circumstance that caused the, 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 the so we are heading the end. The projection that this debt could even reach about a billion tells me that if we do not show that commitment, then the, the, the conditions that brought the doom so, you understand, are being created. And we need leadership that has commitment. Okay. You understand? Leadership that does not only speak, does not only talk, but leadership that is action. And that leadership is a leadership okay. that Anabal and John Kojo will give us, should we give him power? All right. Come 7th December 2020.